Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only, Coco Bandicoot here, and I am back for the likes of the Mexi Toys videos. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of WarioWare, Move It, for the Nintendo Switch. So, last time, we've essentially did manage to show off some final bits and extras here and there, throughout the forms of in-story mode, by not only showing you guys the forms of not only Mega Game Muscles, alongside with the forms of three temples, which there are all mixed up, super hard, and finally Thrill Ride, and as a result, we did manage to able to unlock one of those special mini-games, which appears to be Dirty Job. And as far as I'm aware, we also did manage to able to show off the last eight remaining micro-games throughout the majority of the game. And as a result, once we're able to actually unlock every single micro-games of this whole entire game, obviously though, we did somehow manage to unlock the final mini-game, which appears to be by the forms of Pyro W. So as a result, yeah, everything else goes off pretty swell as far as this is concerned. Despite there are certain uh, mistakes I did somehow manage to stumble across into, specifically in Thrill Ride, alongside with the forms of Dirty Job. But apart from those side things though, yeah, we did somehow manage to show us uh, every single aspect. Apart from uh, two player co-op aspects, which there are double lags as well as switching gears and showdown because as far as I'm aware I was expected to try and able to bring two more Joy-Cons but as far as I'm aware I'm a little bit worried about the forms of the Joy-Con drifting as you probably already know. So today, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the true finale of our Let's Play of WarriorWare Move It and because of that, much like the forms of how it does it in WarriorWare Smooth Moves, we're about to show off the forms of the party mode as you can tell. So this this means not only about the fact that I'm just playing the game, but also I invite someone else. So, go ahead, uh, guest. Hello, what is up everyone? I am Joy here, and I'm glad to be back on playing some more WarioWare stuff. Ever since in WarioWare Smooth Moves, back in last year, and I did somehow remember playing the game with, uh, not only with Sonic the Hedgehog, as well as Luigi and Wario, except Kemic, but that's mainly because Kemic is now part of the bad side on the Bowser's crew. So because of that though, yeah, I'm very pleased about the fact that you somehow invited me this time around though, Coco Bandicoot, and what's the occasion for this? Well, basically, Joy, is about the fact that there was actually some bunch of modes we can able to play, only on party mode, mind you, especially concerning for the fact that if, if you really want to experience party mode, if you, if you couldn't tell already, we have to use the Joy-Con separately, so this means I'm only going to be holding the, uh, the, uh, left Joy-Con, and meanwhile for you, you can only hold the right Joy-Con as for right now. So as you can tell, we ended up on the character selection screen, similar to the forms of how it does it in War we wear gear together. However, unlike in what we wear gear together, as you can tell, that uh, basically all these characters do have their own, uh, well, let's just say, for instance, it's about the fact I noticed the actual, uh, the style of the forms of the character roster looks very similar to what we wear gear together, except the fact that they've now dressed up as in, uh, you know, tropical setting as far as this is concerned. So, for, for instance, I'm actually going to be going for, uh, Mona, and you, Joy, did somehow choose Penny. Why is that? Well, because as far as I'm aware, every time when I see Penny in action, it just makes me want to go ahead and just, you know, enjoy myself when it comes to playing as her. Not only for this game, but as well as the forms of Wario wear gear together. So, anyways though, as soon as we jump right into party mode, as you can tell, at the moment, since we are going to be playing as part of two players, there is one particular mode we can't show off, and that's what appears to be this mode right here, because it actually requires four players for that particular mode. So, for instance, about the fact that at the moment right now, we can only show off four modes, which there are, well, relatively speaking, I was about the fact that there are two of them are actually, like, kind of new and interesting, and then the other two are technically remade from the likes of WarioWare Mega Party games, or specifically, WarioWare Inc. Mega Party games. So, for instance, there's the forms of Galactic Conquest, as well as the forms of Medusa March, as well as, uh, the Doctor game, and on top of that, there's also Go the Distance, which is actually, is like a reference to uh, the Hercules song, so kind of interesting to say the least. So yeah, we're about to show four of these uh, kinds of modes like this, so as a result, we're about to be going on to 
Galactic Conquest, which, as far as I'm aware, it does manage to take place into outer space, obviously, because the forms of their branding and everything. And as far as I'm aware, that unlike in uh, the other three modes, that uh, we can normally play micro games. In here, though, in Galactic Conquest, we have to go through mini games. So, relatively speaking, uh, we're about to jump right into this. And as a result, Galactic Conquest is basically a board game. So because of that, though, similar to how the forms of how Mario Party used to be, and except the fact that the biggest difference is there, is that obviously, though, rather than just using the uh, items, so instead you're able to actually win certain amount of points. So if you manage to able to get yourselves the highest amount of points, and on top of all that stuff, though, you have to make your way to the rocket by the end of the board, and that's how you're able to actually win the actual mode. So, as you can see, similar to the forms of how it does it in the main game, that obviously though, we have to follow these different forms. So, yeah, it does feel remarkably similar to Smooth Moves, isn't it? Well, except the fact that we now need to be able to use the Joy-Con controllers as opposed to the Wii remotes this time. So, I get the strong feeling about the fact that I don't think it's possible we can able to actually come across into uh, boss micro games or anything else for that such con certain capacity. So, either way, let's jump right into Galactic Conquest with the two of us. Because I was originally trying to also try to invite not only Jewel, but as well as the forms of Tiana. But at the moment right now, they are both going to be busy as for right now. So, anyway, so it looks like we're about to be doing a mini game right here. It looks like whoever gets the finish line will uh, win the actual mini game. And, oh, you beat me to it, Joy, by a split second. Yep, especially concerning for the fact that you somehow almost got distracted by talking a lot. Well, I honestly don't mind about, you know, uh, conversations at all. Especially ever since in about a year ago when I managed able to chat about not only for Wario, but also uh -huh. Luigi and Sonic the Hedgehog. So... And as you can tell, since that Joy did somehow manage to win the actual finish line mini game right here, not only she gets like additional points, but also she actually able to actually roll a dice. However, here's the catch. You do need to win a mini game in order to able to actually proceed to the actual board game itself. So, and as you can tell about the fact that obviously though, unfortunately though, Joy needs to able to force to able to lose a bunch of points. Because as far as I'm aware, every single tiles is completely randomized every time if you do manage to land on these specific tiles. So, and as far as I'm aware, any other mini games are also randomized as well. So, for instance, me and Joy are going to be performing the Big Cheese form. And basically, though, I think this particular mini game is actually based off of one of those micro games that we somehow come across into in, I would say, Volcano Wario stage, I'm pretty sure. Well, mind you about the fact that it's been about two days ago since I actually have last played this game for sure. But that's just mainly because at this point in time, that's... Obviously, though, I think my uh, body is about to get slightly exhausted. Well, nowhere near as much compared to the forms of how it does it for uh, my multiple run-throughs where it comes to able to actually try to unlock every single micro games, if you can tell already. So, uh, anyway, a few things I want to talk about is while uh, Joy was actually going to get her next turn. Um, as a result, uh, today's day is, of course, the, is the 25th of July today, in some cases in 2024 today. So, technically, for those of you who lived in the UK, that apparently, though, for I've heard, that Deadpool and Wolverine did somehow technically already been came out on a big screen. So as a result, unlike the forms of how it does not on most other regions, has to wait until for about next day or two. So either way, kind of a, an odd release department as far as this is concerned. Although I'm really hoping about the fact that maybe I can able to invite Crash Bandicoot to able to actually watch the film with me, and maybe I might also try to invite maybe Shadow the Hedgehog as well, because obviously though, Shadow loves uh, seeing dark edgier moments. Although, to be quite frank though, uh, Coco, is that I'm not overly keen on dark and mature stuff. I totally get it, Joy, because obviously though, it's about the fact that you obviously love, you know, light-hearted tone, and on top of all that stuff though, just enjoy quite a number of things, you know? But, either way, that's just for your opinions, I guess, Joy. So, uh, 
Anyway, so in this one right here, we need to eat a grand total of 20 of those food right here. Not able to win this mini game, and as you can tell, I've now somehow finally won um, the actual mini game right now. Oh yeah, and every once in a while though, is that much like the forms of how it does it on Mario Party Superstars, uh, where it comes to a certain amount of turns, that you're able to actually get double the amount of points, or to be more specifically, in Mario Party Superstars, you're able to actually get a double the amount of coins, at least depending on what turn you're in, whilst in here though, you're able to actually get double the amount of points, so, and unfortunately though, I've lost some of my points, because obviously though, like I said before, one of those random uh, space effects were able to actually cause my, uh, well, points to go decreasing, so, Oh god, we have to perform squats, and no matter what though, I'm not overly keen on squat forms, I have to be honest here, but this is mainly because I was expecting to try to able to get this really good uh, motion detection, but most of the time though, it just doesn't seem to able to work out perfectly though, so, in fact, kind of thinking about it, this minigame does remind me of a similar vibes as in Stamp by Me minigame from Mario Party 6, except the fact that we have to use motion controls, oh boy! And on top of that, Stampede from Mario Party 8, which also utilizes motion controls. And no matter what though, thankfully though, you can able to press the button, nor to able to actually switch between papers and stuff like that. So, oh, are you kidding me? I didn't get any single points at all. Although, apparently though, Joy, I only got a PD5. So, again, because most of the time though, the motion controls is not perfect, but... At least, sometimes though, it kind of works sometimes, I guess. So, and it looks like I'm almost approaching onto the rocket itself. Oh, by the way, if you approach to the rocket right there, you're able to actually get yourselves whopping 100 points. And, despite the game tells me about the fact that we're about to be able to change up the rules for a bit, so as a result, it looks like I can't get into the rocket straight away. So, because of that though, yeah, this might actually take a bit of while, to able to actually go through uh, Galactic Conquest sometimes, because what if I first played this mode, that basically though, it almost took me for about 20 minutes, which is almost like, uh, kind of like the same length as the forms of one of those boards in, uh, let's just say, Mario Party Island Tour, where basically though, one of those boards in that game is actually uh, Bonsai Bill's Mad Mountain, where basically though, that board is extremely short, despite how uh, that board is heavily utilized as lock factor to it, but because of the forms of trying to able to protect yourself from uh, the bonsai bill and the shelter as far as this is concerned. Oh sweet, I got myself my glorious spring. And uh, as a result, I occasionally get slowed down at one point because obviously though we have to perform a baka form in order to able to actually just try to able to do a bit of a, uh, uh, a foot race. Or to be more specifically, just trying to make your way towards the end and I did somehow conquer my victor. But, here's the catch though, is about the fact that, well, luckily I can able to actually get some of my points back, but here's the catch though, I don't think I can able to progress at one point, because as far as I'm aware, one of those stupid cages did somehow manage to able to protect the actual rocket itself. So because of that though, there is no way for me to able to- Are you kidding me? I have to go all the way back to the start! Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance. Oh, and by the way, every time we need to go into a mini game, oh my goodness, this looks familiar. Yeah, I think I recognize this one too, especially after playing through both the uh, story mode in uh, WarioWare Move It, alongside with WarioWare Smooth Moves. Well, this might be look familiar to you, doesn't it, Joy? Yep, except the fact that, thankfully though, if you dare made a mistake, there's no penalty. Instead, you don't get that much points, as far as I'm usually concerned with, so... And in fact, no matter what though, Joy, the actual theme song of this minigame sounds a lot similar to uh, Wally West Move Moves, except this time, there's now a grand total of 8, or depending on how many players you're able to invite, like for instance, in 2 players, um, I think there was like uh, 8 people in this particular minigame here, and if you manage to play the game on 3 uh, players, obviously it brings us like 12 uh, people, and uh, finally, if you do manage to able to select four players, it obviously invites like uh, 16 uh, groups of people on this particular minigame as far as this is concerned. Oh, jeez Louise, do we have to do this? 
Well, suffice to say for this point, Coco, we have to able to try to do this move until you're able to actually get some even more points. So, and we get ourselves our glorious big finish. But who able able to actually get into the actual biggest overall scores? And it looks like Joy did somehow beat me to it again. And no matter what though, I am able to actually get myself my double the amount of points. So, that's actually pretty swell in my book. So, anyways, let's see if I can get myself my good old dice roll. And suffice to say, oh, are you for real, game? Are you for real? You telling me about the fact I have to give away half of my points to you, Coco Bandicoot. So, oh, that's a bit of a nuisance as far as this is concerned. Anyway, so the next form we have to perform is the night form by keep on reeling in a bunch of toilet roll. So, let's uh, reel it up. Oh, jeez, Joy. How come you beat me too fast? Well, as a matter of fact, though, Coco Bandicoot, I'm always about to be participating and be ready. So, just to ensure my timing is impeccable, you know? Yeah, fair point. Fair point for you. So anyways, now it's my turn again. So, I wonder what specific uh, tile I can able to trigger, I wonder. And despite the fact I just got two, and it looks like they've decided to add in five more tiles. So, oh, this might take a bit while. And now we're on to turn eight. So, yeah, similar to the forms of how it does it in... Uh, uh, the majority of the Mario Party games. Uh, basically though, uh, when you get to the next turn, uh, obviously though, the mini game will trigger. So, thankfully though, unlike in, uh, Mario Party 9 and, uh, Mario Party 10, they have to land on the specific mini game space, but that's besides the point. Yeah, I can totally get the idea of what you're trying to say, Coco Bandicoot, but still. And if you couldn't tell already about the forms of how our karma take is a little bit over-exaggerating, because most of the time, though, we have to shake our body to uh, shake up this particular soda drink or something. And once again, I've got beaten by Joy again. So, how terrific was that when it comes to likely for my performance, when it comes to the minigames department in party mode? Well, mind you about the fact that I haven't exactly touched upon uh, party mode ever since when I first got the game per se, but that's as far as I can think about it And it looks like no matter what though the rocket has now gone into a different position So it looks like it's up to me or um, Joy will able to actually win the actual mini game and again if you manage to reach to the rocket You're able to actually get additional 100 points. So oh this one is actually luck based um, I'll pick for this plug and meanwhile for you, Joy, you basically got able to pick a different one. Hmm, I was maybe wondering, I'll go for that one all the way to the end. Okay, if you say so. And let's see how the results turned up. Oh, you beat me to it again. <laughs> how amazing am I? Especially concerning for the fact that I'm the most important in motion for this whole entire universe. So, that's what I was expecting. So, and you somehow got two. And lucky you, you somehow advanced eight tiles. So, you somehow made it to the rocket instantly. So, this means Joy instantly wins, after all. Because as far as I'm aware, that you need to get most amount of points and then reach the rocket at the very end. Obviously, though, that's how you win this particular mode. So, Oh man, that was actually very lucky on your part, especially concerning for the fact that I did mostly decently, but most of the time, like I said before, sometimes the motion controls can be uh, quite tricky for the most part, and why do I just somehow go back onto this mode again? I was going to able to move on to the next mode, thank you, because we've already experienced this mode uh, long enough as it is, and I'm sure enough that we can able to quit this particular mode. So, either way though, I do apologize for this point, folks, especially concerning for the fact that I'm still pretty much used to with uh, the Joy-Cons paired up for some reason. So anyways, let's move on to the next mode, which appears to be Medusa March. So, basically though, in this mode right here, we have to go through uh, quite a few micro games in the, the entire process of this mode. But here's the catch though, in order to able to win this mode, is that you need to able to go all the way up to Medusa. And as a result, it's your job to able to actually deal the final blow with 
Medusa. So, that's essentially how this goes, basically. So, every once in a while, though, there might be some battle encounters here and there, which pretty much persuades us to able to deal with a micro game. So, it doesn't really matter what micro game you're going to be participating in, though. But, either way, I'm sure we'll basically got this, I suppose. So, we are, you know, almost become like Hercules or something. So, maybe you've been over-exaggerating for this point, Joy. But, either way. So yeah, as we well shown here, basically, if you let Medusa spot us, obviously, though, we'll turn into stone, basically. So, it kind of reminds me of the forms of one of those creatures in uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, usually in Season 1, as well as Season 9, that uh, there was actually a creature called uh, a Cockatrice, which is basically, it's like a, uh, well, let's just say it's like a uh, the head of a chicken and the body of the snake, and uh, basically, though, if you manage to able to let uh, the Cockatrice manage able to get eye contact with you, you'll also turn into stone, like what uh, the Cockatrice did to, uh, well, let's just say um, Twilight Sparkle, alongside with the forms of almost Fluttershy, despite the fact that she did manage to win after all. In addition to that though, uh, Mod Pie's boyfriend, which I'm not exactly sure what his okay. name is though, because mind you, it has been about a very long while since I actually have last watched. Uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, because at this point in time, that I'm pretty much now used to watching uh, a, a bunch of stuff recently, ranging from uh, more episodes of The Simpsons, so just in case I can able to still catch up on watching every single episode, yes, including the rewatch of uh, the movie in 2007, so uh, that's besides the point. So, now as you can tell, I somehow accidentally got turned into stone, and as you can tell, we somehow got ourselves a freebie potion, which means we can able to actually technically revive from that particular stone transformation as far as I'm aware. So, and every once in a while though, is that while you're doing the actual micro game itself, sometimes we have to freeze for a bit as far as what me and Joy are technically doing right now. And as a result, yeah, if you see that where it says freeze, this means you can't move instantly. Because if you dare move, well, here's the thing though, you'll basically just get ourselves a, a game over for that particular process, I suppose. So... Oh, this is easy. Yeah, same. Especially concerning for the fact that, well, obviously, though, we obviously like uh, Pikmin, but uh, either way. At attention. Alright, so at attention, so... Alright, so I'm just able to wiggle ourselves out of here. Not too shabby right there, at least to be more specifically for you, Joy, because as far as I'm aware, you're getting very close towards the very end. And let's see what micro game we are doing. Okay, so the snowball one. Oh, oh, God, dang it. I moved an inch a little, but uh, oh well, I did somehow lost anyway. So yeah, if you somehow turn into stone twice, then you obviously uh, got disqualified, basically. So uh, either way, Joy wins on that particular mode. So yeah, congratulations to you, Joy. So now let's move on to the next mode, which is listen to the doctor. And believe it or not, this is actually a remake of the forms of that familiar mode from the likes of in WarriorWare Inc. Mega Party Games. Except there are some quite noticeable differences here and there. Like for instance, obviously though for one thing, we have to use Joy-Cons this time as opposed to the GameCube controller. In addition to that though, new playable characters will now participating in this mode, ranging from Lulu and uh, Penny and uh, Master Mantis, or and uh, yeah, just Master Mantis, including uh, Young Cricket, 5 Volt, and 18 Volt essentially. So, uh, yeah, I have honestly have no idea why I somehow mentioned about this earlier. So, and of course, just like in WarriorWare Inc. Mega Party Games version of this particular mode, obviously, though, we have to make do the forms of that specific turn order. And it looks like it's your turn first off for Joy, and as you can tell, we need to listen to the doctor's instructions, like twisting your hips left and right. So, can you do this, Joy? Yep, I can. Especially how the fact that I'm always quite uh, flexible when it comes to doing a lot of body movements. So, I would say you did a pretty good job when it comes to listening to the doctor. So, now it's my turn. Although, I was originally trying to able to switch things around, 
with the characters and all that stuff, but we'll stick around with two of them for now, so, while time, while shouting out the time, okay, so, I believe today, uh, today, that the time itself goes, it's now 25 minutes past five, at least as far as according to the forms of that recording session, but either way, so, I think it did just fine, especially concerning for the fact that, while well, you shout out the time, Alright, so now it's your turn, Joy, and you're now dealing with... Oh, wow, howling. Oh, this is gonna be simple and piece of cake, so... Block. Woo! I would say you did a pretty good, uh, howling expression as far as, you know, wolf impressions as far as I'm concerned. So I'll just give you, like, some bit of thumbs-ups here and there. So, yeah, by simply able to actually just, you know, do some motion controls here and there, so... While standing as oh, jeez. Alright, standing as tall as you can. Can I probably do a tiptoe on it? I think I can. But I will say though, while I was watching you doing the forms that specific action, I might give you, um, let's just say a few thumbs ups. So yeah, I was quite pleasantly surprised about the fact that this mode technically does return after the events of, you know, WarriorWare Inc. Mega Party games, so... Oh, jeez. I think I did somehow have teeth, like, my front teeth or something? I think I did saw you, uh, stick your, uh, front teeth out, so... I suppose I might as well give you, like, uh, quite a few thumbs-ups as well, so... Alright, let's see what my next Player action one. I need to Tug do. Of Tug of war in what? Oh no! I did not know about any other language! Oh jeez, I think English is the only language I can only speak! Oh dear, I can't usually speak Japanese or French or French and um, Italian. Well, I'm afraid to tell you, you're not going to get any thumbs up, so... Unless you did manage to able to, uh, finish the micro game just fine. Alright, what's in it for you, Joy? While racing each leg with turn the toes turning outward. Oh, gee. Um, can I possibly do that? And at the same time, try to do this? Well, it's a bit, um, tricky to try to get myself balanced, so... And I did that right? Uh... Might as well give you one thumb up, I guess. Eh, if you say so, I guess. Player one. Oh, I think this is now the last turn, if I recall. With face. Oh, jeez. Um, I can't really, I can't really tell anymore. But at least I did manage to uh, win this micro game, I guess. By the way, every time you uh, succeed a micro game, you obviously get a freebie thumb up, thanks to the of the doctor. So. Either way, I think that was it. So, after all of these turns are up, basically though, we can able to get ourselves the examination results. And so far, it looks like I somehow win. Huh. I somehow got myself uh, 36 or 38 thumbs ups, whilst meanwhile for you, Joy, only had 27 thumbs ups. So, uh, oh well, to be fair though, because I did somehow manage to conquer everything for these two modes so far. Yeah, either way. So now let's move on to go the distance. So basically though, as you can see, that it says for experts, meaning about the fact that you must able to master every single micro games. And as far as I'm aware, we have to go through level one, level two, and level three variants for several of micro games. So, and eventually though, the actual mode is decides to be able to go a lot faster, the more you've progressed. So, now I'm pretty sure this particular mode is also very familiar. If you ever played WarriorWare Inc. Mega Party games already, that there was a mode called uh, Survival FIFA, where basically though it's basically the same thing, except it's now going to take place in a boxing match. So, ah, oh, dang it, I did not crouch in time. Ah, oh, oh well, I somehow lost one life already. Excellent start for me, especially it's on level one's case. Now I can just simply outrace against with the opponent as such. And by the way, when you start the mode off, basically though, each player will be able to receive uh, four hearts. So, but if you run out of hearts, well, obviously though, you lose the actual mode. Oh, pretty easy, because of, you know, uppercut for the two of us, so... So, um, anyway, uh, there are a few uh, things I would like to explain while this is happening, is that... 
Well, first of all, uh, there are some, uh, quite a few DVDs has been listed so far for the actual release date so far. Like, I've only found, uh, two of them so far, while, uh, Joy was actually busy trying to able to utilize with the telescope. And, uh, basically, it's about the fact that those films in particular, which there are, uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, Alongside with the forms of, uh, well actually there's technically another one I can probably think about, and that's what it appears to be If, and finally the Godfield movie, and as far as I'm aware, that uh, those three uh, DVD films has already been confirmed the actual release date so far. Like for instance, uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is going to be coming and doing at some point on the 9th of September in this year, which is roughly the exactly same day as in Knuckles the series on DVD and Blu-ray release, including the actual Blu-ray Steelbook edition of Knuckles the series as well. So, yeah, that must have been saying something, I guess. So, and Sophie tells me we're now moving on to level 2 variant for several of Michael games and it's now going back onto normal speed. So, yeah, everything else checks out there for the sake of this mode. So, anyways, uh, as far as if is concerned, if, as far as the film itself is concerned, uh, it's going to be releasing on DVD and Blu-ray until the 12th of August in this year in particular, which is roughly the exactly same, uh, well, that was technically speaking of, that particular film on DVD format is going to be releasing right after the Paris Olympics 2024 wraps up, so at least to be more specifically the genuine uh, Olympic games, at least as far as I'm aware, because technically speaking, I was about the fact that yes, indeed, there was also the Paralympics as well, but that's going to happen during later on throughout the majority of the summer season, I'm, I'm presuming so anyway, so. But anyway, and uh, finally though, when it comes to the Garfield movie, I think it's about to do out at some point on the 2nd of September on Monday, basically. So because of that though, yeah, that's what I can really say about that, I guess. And I think it's about to do out around a week before Knuckles the series on uh, DVD and Blu-ray release, as far as I'm aware for that point. So anyways though, Oh, and did you know about the fact that there's actually going to be a yet another Barbie game is going to be on its way, and this time what appears to be Barbie Project Friendship is going to be heading over to the Nintendo Switch, and as far as I'm aware, one of those developers, which appears to be uh, Outright Games, as far as I'm aware, is actually going to be involved with the actual development when it comes to that particular game, and as far as I'm aware, it's about to do out around the exactly same day as in... Sonic Cross Shadow Generations on multiple platforms, and I was like, well, let's just say I'm probably not gonna get that Barbie game after all, because I'm still basically excited for, uh, Sonic Cross Shadow Generations at the end of the day, don't you think, Joy? Well, yeah, absolutely, especially concerning for all this massive, uh, fan services, and as far as I'm aware, that unlike, uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate, that basically though, that Sonic Colors Ultimate has been developed by a different developer, which is of course, Flying Squirrel Games, which technically didn't work out too well, especially because of all that, uh, glitches has been found since when it launched, so... And also, kind of thinking about it though, Joy, is about the fact that it's been almost three years ago since uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate did somehow came out since 2021. And luckily though, for Sonic Cross Shadow Generations, it's now going to be developed by Sonic Team. So as a result, you know, the same uh, uh, developer who did the forms of the original version of Sonic Generations back in 2011. So that's always something. So, ah, oh, I messed that up. Especially I didn't pay attention to the ghost. But oh well, at least Joy did somehow one again, so... And as far as I'm aware, that's all he can show off, in terms of the forms of party mode. I mean, I still wish there was actually more to it than that. I mean, unlike the forms of how it does it in WarriorWare Smooth Moves, that uh, you're able to actually have a grand total of th uh, seven uh, different games you can play, although you do need to unlock them, that's the thing, but that's besides the point. So, anyways though, there is technically one more thing we can probably show off, and that's what appears to be Copycat Mirror, which I believe you're not able to actually unlock this mode, by the way, is that you have to beat Story Mode for the first time, and that's all I can really say about it. So basically though, this mode actually requires two players to play this game. Like, for instance, one player can able to actually just do like, well, here's the thing though, that basically though, as soon as we dive right into this, 
Basically though, as soon as you're able to actually first time play in this mode, we have to force to watch ourselves with the instructions right there. So because of that, let me just go ahead and sort out with my Joy-Con controllers again to go back onto the actual pair. And as a result, it looks like we're about to able to see what's going on with this whole entire mode. The player holding the Joy-Con controllers is in charge of Red. Okay, so, um, who's gonna be in charge the to play as Red then? Well, I do know for certain for one thing, uh, can I be, uh, part of the, uh, the Joy-Cons, uh, Coco? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Whilst, meanwhile, for me, I'm gonna be trying to able to act out as Ashley, because as far as I'm aware, Ashley can only look at the screen, while, uh, meanwhile, for the other player, refuse to look at the screen. So, yeah, I'm also able to give you a guide to able to know how the actual, uh, specific forms you have to perform, and... I think, well to be speaking now, is about the fact I don't think the narrator is not gonna able to shout out what form you have to use. So, anyway, and, um, also not to mention though, I do somehow realize about something, is that unfortunately though, Crash Bandicoot 5, the, the forms of the newer version of Crash Bandicoot 5, that, uh, apparently though, I did found out that Crash 5 has officially been cancelled, which is a bit of a bummer though, especially I do have some high expectations of what's gonna be coming up next, after the events of the release of, uh, Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, but oh well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess, especially concerning for the fact that, well, what's to say about the fact that I'm still basically excited for, uh, the next upcoming games for the majority of this year, alongside with the forms of 2025 as well, with some more surprises here and there. So, uh, anyway, so it looks like that about the fact that, well, it's now officially been sorted for left-handed, as far as the actual hand you're gonna be using. And let's hop in to, uh, Copycat Mirror. Mind you, we're only gonna do one run of this, because I was originally trying to able to show you guys this run twice, but, uh, as a result, I think this is gonna be the only time, so, yeah, I got to, you know, show Joy how to perform, you know, certain forms. But, uh, yeah, that's as far as I can try to able to show you guys what this mode plays out to be. I mean, for instance, though, is about the fact that there's nothing else we can really say about it. Again, I just really wish there was actually more to it when it comes to bonus content as far as not only party mode as far as I'm concerned, but also with the forms of the actual single player content. I mean, sure, about the fact that playing several micro games is actually pretty cool all in all, but it's just about the fact that, again, I just really wish there was actually more to it. So, it kind of reminds me like a similar situation as the forms of not only Mario Party Island Tour, as well as Mario Party 10, and even especially noticeable with Mario Party The Top 100, and maybe a little bit on Super Mario Party, and even though thankfully though, when it comes to the forms of both Mario Party Superstars, despite the fact that we still have not received the DLC, which as a result, we basically give up hopes for DLC for Mario Party Superstars now, mainly because obviously though, we've now got a new Mario Party on its way. That's of course, Super Mario Party Jamboree, which I'm really hoping that Super Mario Party Jamboree will be a lot more bigger in terms of content-wise, compared to the forms of how it does it on most ND Cube Mario Party titles since on the 3DS. Although, don't get me wrong, Mario Party 9 does have a sheer amount of content, but as far as I'm usually concerned, there's still no sign of online play. So, it, it wasn't until when the Nintendo Switch era for Mario Party games comes into play, with all these online capabilities it's decided to able to brought ourselves into. So, yeah, that's as far as I can try to explain about this kind of stuff like this for right about now. So, uh... Well, I will say, though, is about the fact I'm doing quite well, and I believe uh, Joy is actually doing pretty good when it comes to concentrating what uh, certain forms I have to teach her with. So, despite the fact that the actual setup is a bit, uh, kind of weird, honestly. So, either way, though, you're doing pretty well, Joy, especially concerning you've actually achieved, uh, 13 points so far. Why, thank you. Oh, that was a close call right there. Yeah, tell me about it. But I don't suppose about the fact that this mode will not, uh, speed up, unlike the forms of how it does it on, uh, Go the Distance or anything, so, uh...
Not bad, Joy. Not bad. Yep. So suffice to say, I love the fact that Red is the only one he can able to hold the Joy-Con controllers. So, oh, I messed up at the uh, the camera shot. Oh well. That's as far as we can able to show off the copycat mirror. So, uh, and it actually shows you how many points you've somehow accumulated. And as well as from that, several of uh, micro games you did somehow made a mistake from. In addition to that, you can change the uh, places and retry if you wanted to. But like I said before, we only going to be shown this mode for one time. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Joy, for able to actually jo uh, join in with this particular multiplayer video as far as I'm concerned. I mean, then again though, we would have liked to have some more fun with this though, but I'm afraid to tell you for this point, Joy, is that this particular Let's Play is about to come to a close, especially because now we can show off one last thing, and that's of course, staff credits. So, thank you Joy for joining me for this video, so uh, I do appreciate it. Did you have a fun time with it so far? Yeah, exactly. I especially appreciate about the fact that I'm glad to be back on the motion controlled WarioWare game ever since in WarioWare Smooth Moves back in la well, like I said before, since last year. Except the fact that obviously though I have to do with less players like you, unlike uh, WarioWare Smooth Moves, that we have to share the controllers to each other. Whilst in here though, we have to buy the uh, Joy-Con separately, that's the only thing. So, yeah, either way. And like I said before, I don't think it's possible we can able to show off not only double act, but as well as switching gears and showdown, because as far as I'm aware, like I said before, those modes are only accessible for two-player co-op mode. So, kind of a bummer though, but oh well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I mean, I mean, relatively speaking, though, it's just about the fact that it's kind of like the similar thing as in our Let's Play of, uh, let's just say, Mario Party Island Tour, for instance. That, uh, basically, though, we didn't show off anything back then, because, because uh, one of those modes was actually locked out behind the multiplayer, which does require more than three uh, players in order to be able to actually play through uh, Shy Guy's Shovel City, as far as I'm aware. So, anyways, let's go and end things off with the staff credits. So, and, uh, yeah, as far as for my final thoughts of, uh, WarioWare Smooth Moves, as far as this is concerned, although before you get into more about the, uh, that particular topic, though, as you can tell, you can able to actually perform, uh, massage, so that way you can able to actually pull out a bunch of tissues from the tissue boxes from the actual staff credits department. So, yeah, that's actually kind of interesting, to say the least. Although, you can able to actually leave it and play the actual credits as in, like, uh, Auto play if you decided to able to go for that stuff. So yeah, for instance though, I don't think I can probably able to actually keep on doing a lot of motion mashing here and there. So I think suffice to say is about the fact I do apologize if I somehow managed to able to skip certain portions of the staff credits right there. So I'll just leave things to it. So yeah, let's get to my final thoughts of Wario Web Move It. I will say I do enjoy this game for the most part. I mean, the graphics do look really, really good, even on the Nintendo Switch, even though it's basically the exact same art style as the forms of how it does it in WarioWare Gold, alongside with WarioWare Get It Together. But apart from those aside things, though, uh, the story itself is actually kind of interesting, because it does manage to take place in a different environment, and on top of all that stuff, though, I do like the gameplay, especially concerning for the fact that, like I said before, this game is basically a successor to WarioWare Smooth Moves, except the fact that you do utilize with a different controllers this time around, being the Joy-Con controllers, because like I said before, there is no way you can play this game on handheld mode, because obviously though, Joy-Cons is required, nor to able to play the game for reals, so, and, um, also, the music soundtrack wise, I do enjoy it for the most part, and the controls wise, like I said before, it's not perfect by any means, but I do think it's actually pretty flawless for the most part, I mean, Again, sometimes the motion controls can work sometimes, although other times the controls might screw me up on some micro games, but that's only my, my main uh, gripe I have with the game. And as far as I'm aware, the other uh, major issue I have with the game is that there's not much content here and there, as, as, aside from the fact that you can't able to actually replay through uh, the exact same stages as before, but just trying to able to actually master with the high scores and everything. And aside from that, 
there's no online play and there's no uh, mission achievements and there's no uh, shopping menu this time around. So this means about the fact that, well, relatively speaking though, this game is by far the shortest games of the bunch. Well, at least in terms of the actual story length as far as I'm usually concerned of. But either way, despite the fact that, like I said before, it's been about two days ago since I actually have last played this game for sure. And, uh, well, to be speaking of, I hope you guys are able to enjoy this particular, uh, game. I do enjoy it for the sake of the Fonz the Let's Play department. And, uh, yeah, I very appreciate that we somehow managed to be able to finally caught up with the rest of the WarriorWare series of games, apart from few exceptions. So, anyway, so this is me, Coco Bandicoot here. And joy here for the sake of the multiplayer video only. So either way, um, and you're probably wondering I'm still here because I just love listening to Coco Bandicoot's conversation about his uh, or her final thoughts of certain video games. Oh yeah, thank you for that particular compliment there, Joy. I fully appreciate it, especially because, you know, Inside Out 2 is actually doing really, really well for the box office department, so at the very least, I do appreciate it you did somehow join in, you know? So, anyway, so in terms of the forms of the next WarriorWare games we'd like to tackle through next, uh, let's just say, um, well, after all these years, we can finally assume lead to say, we can finally decide able to tackle through WarriorWare DIY, not only on the DS, but also on the WiiWare. So those two combined Let's Plays will be up next for our entire WarriorWare retrospective of Let's Plays. Again, some exceptions, which is obviously Game & Wario, because I found that game incredibly boring. In addition to that, WarriorWare Gold, mainly because of the lack of 3DS capture device. So. Yeah, that's why I was expecting to mention about that. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching about Let's Play of WarioWare Move It, and I hope you guys do enjoy it, and look forward to more Let's Plays to come. And I'll see you guys at some point soon. Yep, we'll see you guys soon. Bye!